for the log cabin blocks, you'll just need to pre-cut all the pieces that are mentioned in the pattern. I've kind of laid them out um, in their order that they go. For the first step, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the center square and we are going to sew this block to it. And then we're going to just kind of rotate uh, around the block, adding each strip, strip as we go. Before moving on to the next section, we're just going to press these open towards the outside. It just makes putting them together a lot easier. When you get ready to stitch the next section, just make sure that you have placed the block correctly. If you've switched this around, um, it is going to start confusion. So make sure that when you come back, you are, you're sewing the correct side to the center that you're building out. And then we're gonna place them on the board just like they were previously to make sure that we are ready for the next step. So these blocks, are going to be now sewn to the top of the log cabin section. Again, we're going to press them open, layering them back up again. And then we just need to make sure that the next fabric we're gonna put on matches the one prior or the same value and tone. I'm gonna press these open again and then lay them back out correctly, and then we get to move on to the next round. So the next round is the bottom and the left-hand side. And we're gonna press this out. Make sure we have it lined up on the correct spot. So our next one that we are adding on is to the left side of the block. All right, and now we are to our last layer, our last round. Want to reposition these and make sure that they are <clears throat> in the correct order. I'm just checking to make sure I don't have any repeating fabric around here. So for our last area, we are going to do the top and then we are going to do the right side. As you notice, um, every time we add a section to it going around we are crossing over two seams so that does help you remind you that you're in the one you're in the correct area if you start sewing on and you only have one seam you may want to reevaluate it and check to see if it's in the right place all right we're on our last part for the log cabin block so we just need to make sure that we keep all of what we just sewed on to the top and we are going to be adding our strips to the right side. So just make sure they're in the correct order so again your fabric lines up or the um, tone reads the same as you move around. All right, so now that we are all finished, what we're going to do is just give this a good final press. And then you need to refer to the pattern to see what size this should end up and do any kind of trimming that you need prior to it going into the quilt top. So that is our log cabin quilt blocks.